I'm making this just for a gaming console, but it's pretty easy. What most people do, they start with the SI register, and that's what they like to move their console arguments into. Which, you know, we type in like echo high, if you don't know what that is. Console arguments or command line arguments is everything you type in after the command. See how echo high said hi? It was able to process what you typed in after the command. So what we're going to do, we're going to send everything after the command to a string. And this string is located at hex 82. And so basically what we just did, that's getting command line input. Mob SI82, Mob AH09, um, Mob DXSI, N21, N20. Now I could run this. See, look, it's going to give us all this because if you say test Bob, it's going to do that. But if you type in test Bob and put a dollar sign, it's going to return Bob. And we're going to be building a basic echo command that's kind of like this echo hi. Um, we're going to tag this dollar sign on real quick, which, if you don't remember from the last tutorial, it's actually pretty easy. So, instead of most people like to move it into SI, but I'm going to move 82 into BX. So, remember, 82 is a string of everything after the command. So now mob bx mob si0 just like the last tutorial um jump 110 a110 mob cl bx plus si mob or compare cl 20 if it's less than then jump to 150 and if it's not less than add 1 to SI and then jump to 110 and repeat it. Now at A150 let's move into move into the byte location of here the dollar sign which I think was 24 keep on forgetting a lot of things yeah 24 now mob a809 mob dx bx and 21 and 20 there we go we built a basic test hello dog see it's going to return hello dog because we all we did is you took the string of user input, um, tagged a dollar sign at the end, and then echoed it out. Now to make this more like, um, you know, the echo command, we can go ahead and zero d. This remember just. These six lines are just for writing the new line. Now let's do this again. See, look, echo high, test high. Does the same thing. Stab, this is a little bit slower, but. And that's it, actually, for this tutorial, really quick. All you have to do is move 82 into be, um, a register. And 82 is. Um, the string after the command line. Um, you may see people use different values, like maybe 84 or 81. Sometimes you can get different values that will give you your string after the command. But you, um, but I know 82 works the best. If it, if you find a, I don't know how you could find a better one. But if you do, you can go ahead and use that. But that's actually it for my little command line tutorial that's how you can get um things from the command if you don't know what this is useful for such as open with like if you open a file let's say you're you you want to have it where you can right click your um your com file and then click you know open with and set
and then open a, well, let's say open a text file with your com file you can use the command line options to get the file you're opening it with which is like how notepad works it knows how to um, when you double click a text file it sends the notepad command followed by the location of your text file and it uses that command line option to find your text file and open it so that's just it for this tutorial next one this one mainly and like the last one we're just having you understand this little box thing box brackets which i call it the box thing because that's what it looks like even though that's an extremely unprofessional term but I like unprofessional terms.